so i'm going to work with the measurements i have here okay so here the bus circumference is 36 inches you're going to divide your bus circumference by four then you add at least eight inches because the sleeve will be drafted together it's called together sleeve okay and uh, we also consider the darts will be placing so your bus circumference divided by four plus at least eight inches so here the bus circumference divided by four is nine okay so nine inches plus eight that will give me 17 inches so um, to be on the safe side, I would mark at 18 inches. Okay, so what I, this is how I would mark, then I would fold. I'll just mark at 18 inches. Then I will fold my paper from that point. So by the time you have done this now, we would make our dots. So we also need our neckline. Looking at the style, you see that it has trap, and the strap got to, you know, somewhere here at the upper bust. Then you now have the sweetheart. I hope you're seeing what I'm showing you. You now have the sweetheart neckline. Okay, so I want to create that. So for the first one, where we, where the strap will get to, let me use five inches. So depending on what you want. Why for the other depth is seven inches. That is how deep it will go at this center front here. Okay, why the strap will get to five inches. So that is what I have marked. So at this five inches, I'll just um, like draw it out. Still measuring it here. Okay, so this will give us the guide to form the sweetheart neck. So I'll also label it neckline. Okay, so when you have done this, it's now time to create our dart. So the dart will take the nipple to nipple measurement divided by two, which is our bust span. So add half inch to whatever you have. The nipple to nipple measurement here is seven inches divided by two, that is 3.5. Add half inch to read, that is four. So I'm marking at four from this neckline. I would mark four inches all the way down, and I would connect it with my ruler. So just make your straight line. So this is our that line, okay? So now you come to the under bust for average and above, you take two inches at this side that is why what, what i mean by um the average and above the bust measurement from 36 upward two inches on this side one inch on this side from 35 downward one inch here one inch here so i'm talking of the bust circumference this time if the person is not busted one inch on this side one inch then from 36 inches and um, both sides upward you can take two inches here and one inch here so that is exactly what I'm going to use. Two inches on this side and one inch on this side. I'll do the same thing at the waistline. Two inches on this side and one inch on this side. Then you connect. So this is our bust tightening because it is a bustier. This tie there is a bustier. Okay. So when you have done this now, and actually if you look at it, it's at the bustier is not so deep. So you can actually use one inch on both sides. So it just depends on what you want, but this is still fine. Then you come to the neckline, you take one inch on this side and half inch on this other side. Then this time around, you just connect it this way to the boss point. You connect it this way and this way. So this one, you're not curving it, you just connect it this way. So this is the one you would curve. Okay, so here you curve it to the boss point like so okay and this one you just connect like so not actually covering it and you have it so you can see the cup it's just okay so when you have done this now the next thing is to replace this dart because by the time you cut out this dart and you join it will be small here guys you have it being small so you need to replace it that we took one inch on this side and half inch here that is 1.5 so you just replace it here okay so you replace it here and now you extend 
this line so we have sort of like cut off the shoulder and we have our off shoulder here but we'll still make use of this point because of the nature of this style is a cut together sleeve so we are going to make use of this upper side and how do we do that first of all let's place let's place our arm um hole curve okay to place your armhole curve you're going to place your boss circumference measurement on this point boss circumference divided by four so 36 is the boss circumference divided by four that is nine inches i'll just make a point then i'll replace this that because you have to cut out this that it will reduce the measurement if you don't replace it so i have half inch there I would add it and this is the boss measurement i have not added seam allowance so let me do that at once you can use 1.5 inch seam allowance or two inches depending on what you want so since you'll be turning with lining you'll be using lining two inches is advisable by the time you're done stitching in your lining your allowance that will be left will be like one inch to 1.5 inches okay so this is two inches seam allowance now i would create my arm hole curve so normally it should connect from here to where you place your boss circumference divided by four then the extension will just go their way that is the seam allowance okay so to just continue so you have done that you come to the under bust under bust circumference divided by four is eight inches I mark it i'll have to replace this three inches that remember i'll have two inches here and one inch here i'll just add it three inches then the two inches seam allowance i place it okay and here we have it you do same for the waist waist divided by four is 8.5 i mark it i replace the that three inches that from there add two inches seam allowance from there i'll have it so now let's connect it okay so you just connect this way and this way so just try to blend your shape whatever you have there so because of the dart by the time you stitch your dart everything would stay well so now you have created the bodies now let's move over to the sleeve aspect of it okay so to make your sleeve there is actually a standard way to go about it which works for everybody what matters is your shoulder measurement okay so when you come to this shoulder um slant here you are going to like extend it coming down a bit okay you extend it coming down this is where we have our shoulder slant here so let me use chalk this is where we have our shoulder slant so from this shoulder slant you're coming down by half inch so let me mark where we have the half inch so by the time you mark it just try to go down from your shoulder to that half inch like this okay then you extend it so when you have extended it this way you would mark two inches on this line on this slanted line so these two inches works for everyone so you mark two inches okay then from this shoulder here you will mark three inches down so you just come down by three inches okay so just note the marks and you have it there now we come to our neckline remember this first neckline i explained is just where the strap will get to okay it's where the strap will get to but we need to create this sweetheart neckline as well so that is this mark i have here remember i took seven inches for that where the strap will get to is five inches then the depth of the neckline the sweetheart neckline is seven inches and here it is okay so now we would connect this neckline to this point and to these other points okay we we'll connect it that is how we would create our cape and the sleeve okay so i like to um take away the that because we are going to actually sew in our that before um adding that cape 
so to get the actual shape of your cape it is good you just take away your dart by matching this one to this one so we also stitch the dart by half inch but for now just match it up like this and you blend okay so we want to create the sweetheart neckline so i'm going to go this way we are going down for sweetheart neckline think like this okay so we want to first of all create our sweetheart neckline so just trying to recreate the style follow everything step by step we create our sweetheart neckline this way then we match it to this point here and to this point here okay like this so you actually curve it following the way the style is okay looking at it you see how it is so we'll mark it that way so by the time i have done it this way now i would then so remember you cut out the dart so it's better you just leave it like this okay so let's leave it that way then we can actually also match it up because of our drawing whichever for now let's leave it like this let's tackle the sleeve so for our sleeve now we're going to determine the width okay how bold you want it the width of the sleeve so looking at what we have here is up to four inches if you want to follow this style what you have there is about four inches okay so from here now you take that measurement so it depends on what you want you can measure three inches you can measure four so let's use four following the style the way it looks i mark at four inches there and it is a bit curvy from that side from that point it was like curved okay so let me see now first of all use chalk so i don't have so much line and then uh, you become confused so if i curve it and i see what i have i can now mark it out with my chalk okay so let's see and now i can now mark it out with my marker sorry so let's see if it's going to give us a picture of what we have there so i've uh, curved it then we have to also connect it to the to this point by the time you curve it you connect it to the center front you can see you connect it it will, it will pass across the upper boss okay at the top of the boss and get to the center front so let me just do that so i also i'll still go ahead to close my that so let me just close it that as we would have this so that whatever shape we are drawing there will be getting the actual shape so i close the that and then this is what i have carved out to look like the sleeve we have there okay I've carved it like this and there is going to the upper boss so these are busts it's cutting across like this it's coming this way going this way and curve okay so actually it mustn't be exactly but at least it can resemble it <laughs> they will have a case of what i ordered but it's what i got so we're just trying to recreate okay so we go this way following what we have there so i think we are almost getting it okay hope you can see what we have here so i decided to take away the dart so that we can actually get a clear picture so by the time we have done this we are going to transfer this to the other side okay so because of that transfer we need to do we might need to open it up and blend what we have here okay so just connect this to this in such a way that it would blend well because we need to transfer this to the other side and we did that folded that way we might not get it okay so just blend out this part this part join them together just join them together so don't to spoil it 
so this is okay so we are working with this now and this okay so this is what we have now we're going to transfer it to the other side by tracing it with a tracing wheel so for this you'll be needing a tracing wheel to do this So by the time you are sure you have traced everything, now we would turn to the other side and mark it out. Okay. So I'll just mark out what I have so that you will see it. So let's start with the cape. So So I think I have successfully traced it to this side, okay? Yes, so this is the center piece, the side and the cape. So by the time, after doing it like this now, we're going to open it up. So we open it up, you can see what we have, okay? Since we are, we are almost there. Can see what we have here. Now it is now time to extend our cape. That is this one going down to the waist line. So we are dealing with the body first before the play. So the play will come in later. So now it's for us to just trace it to the waist line. So looking at this, by the time you take off the you take off the seam allowance from the waist to this point is about three inches so it depends on the body of the person for some that is slim it might not get it might not be up to three inches okay so this is where i have my seam allowance here so let's see what we can get from there or let's see from where we have our darts to the from where we have the darts to this other point is up to three inches as well so whichever you can measure like three inches from where you have your dart and that is where the first one that is where the cape will get to the top part of the cape while the other part of the cape is about 1.5 inch okay i'm talking of the width of the cape this time around is about 1.5 or 2 inches so depend on what you want so let's use two inches the first the top part of the cape will get here the second the, up, the other part of the cape will get to this point so we are going to like try to trace it so i'm going to use chalk to avoid mistakes and there's so much line so by the time i trace it with chalk if i'm satisfied with what i have then i would mark it out with um I'll mark it out with my marker so that you will see it clearly. Let me get my pant curve to if this would help me curve it well. So now I'm using my pant curve, my improvised pant curve I made myself using cardboard. So I connect this one here and I try to connect this other one here. Mm, and it worked <laughs> yeah it worked so let me just cover this one more so you also have to also have to look at the style and see how it is actually going not just drawing it so we need to look at it and see that it went under the boss so it passed under the boss so that's why i decided to use chalk so that i would be able to clean it if i'm not getting it right so we need to look at it from that neckline there it's you're seeing this okay from the neckline there it cuts under the boss it goes under the boss and then um, this is where we have our under boss so it's the top part that should be cutting across under the boss 
so let's take that again so this upper part is going this way cutting across under the bust to wait to the waistline so need to target it right okay it's actually correct because this is by the time we move at that so you see why sometimes you need to like take away the darts so that you actually see what you're doing because we're going to cut out the darts so let's take it away from now so let me cut out the excess we have on the paper so that we can be able to work with it i didn't want to just cut it out because this and uh, cape would be it would be nice if it extend a little bit it's better for it to be long by the time you have fixed it you trim out the excess down for you not to get to that point okay so that's why i left a um, space so that we can just extend the cape so now let's cover let's just close up these dots by joining it here so that when we are marking this we will actually see what we are marking so just for this side, we will still open it up again and blend it. So let me just cover the dots. Okay. So now let me mark this again. Mm, actually, I don't know if it will work like this. So. So let's leave the dart open. I know what to do. By the time we have cut out the cape, we need to measure the distance. What we have here, we need to mark it so that we we'll cut it out, okay, and join this part to this part back. So let's take it that way, okay? So our cape would go this way under the balls to that point. So let me mark it, okay? Let me mark it. Let's extend this here just to be on the safe side. Just extend it. You can always trim it out. Okay, and that is it. So notch or mark where you have the darts. We're going to cut it out and join back our cape. Okay, so we're going to make it in such a way that we'll be able to join this cape back by the time we cut out the darts. So let's go ahead to cut. Okay, but now, please, we're not just cutting it here. We're still going to transfer this to another paper. We are bringing out the cape separately. We are bringing out this cape, and we are bringing out the body separately. So let's do that, okay? Let's use another paper. We place out everything separately. Just place it in such a way that now I want to trace out only this cape. I'll trace it out, and I'll take the paper or move the paper to somewhere else and trace the other kit okay so make sure your paper is in place so that it doesn't move while you're tracing now let me just pin it down let me just pin it down and go ahead and trace it into the other paper So this is all I need for the front panel. Now we're going to cut the back because this cape would connect together from the back. So by the time we cut the back, we're going to join this one with the back because on the fabric, it's not going to have joining here. So we're going to cut everything at once. So let me keep this aside and we'll cut the back, like we'll draft the back before 
cutting out our panels here okay so for the back panel i just want to trace out certain um, some of the measurements from the front okay that is the the neckline so the neckline and the other vertical measurements the neckline the bust point so let me pin it down So the underboss, though we don't need the underboss for the back because the back will just be waste that is not going to be a boosty at the back because we're not having this kind of that at the back, no boss. So just a waste that to give shape at the back, okay? So I will also trace out the length we have here. I hope it will show because the paper is on foot. Then we don't need the whole of the. So let's just take our measurements. Let's just take our measurements. I'm just trying to repeat the marks so I can draw my line. So I'm not just marking what I have on my bodies, right? Like my boss point on that boss point because I am following the front pattern. I'm following the front pattern. So where I have these points on the front pattern is what I'm just replacing, okay? So this is the neckline because now we have cut out the shoulder, we have our off shoulder. So that is just what I have here. So this is the neckline, this is the boss point, the under boss and the waist. Okay. So for the back, like I said, the weight, the, the, that would just be waist that. So we're going to place back our bust pan the same bust pan we use for the front we're going to place it all the way down okay so connect it connect it so here now the that to need is one inch so we're going to share share it half inch on this side and half inch on this side then we'll connect it up connect it up like so ordinarily the that should just get to the chest line so you can just come down by one inch and have it here this way you sew your that too okay so that you don't end up sewing the neckline so this way you have your that one inch you come down by one inch and you stitch your that to that to that uh, point okay so now we have done this you determine how you want the shape of the neckline to be at the back you can decide to make it straight out you can you can just be straight from what we have here it's not so clear but it's like a bit curvy you no know? It's like a bit curvy there that is it just went down a little bit so you can just come down by one inch and curve it down okay for the back neck line so this is okay for the back neck line then for the armhole remember our shoulder measurements so we are actually going to follow what we have here actually going to follow what we have here so let me trace it okay so yes we would trace it this time around and this is where we have this one okay so the back so let me see 
the cape at the back will be a bit different okay to be a bit different so what i'm actually going to trace now is this sleeve okay is the sleeve because it has to correspond to it has to mix up i hope i have it enough here oh, i didn't consider this before placing my back Make sure you have enough space where your sleeve is falling. Okay. So let me join paper at that point. Instead of drafting this all over again. Let me just make it up by joining paper there. So this is okay now. So let me take it again. So by the time we have placed what we have here, okay so remember there is no bustier at the back so actually where our sleeve will start from will be different from the front then we need to place our shoulder measurements so the shoulder measurement is seven okay so this is where our armhole will start so let's not forget that so by the time i come here i want to like get the distance between the boss point and my armhole is 1.5 so this is it here let me measure that seven again so i hope i'm not confusing you so i go up by 1.5 this is where i have the armhole so why i'm doing this because i didn't actually take the actual shoulder measurement from the shoulder so i'm working with the front panel okay so in the front panel my armhole is one inch before the boss point so i just started to bring it back so this is actually where I have the armhole. So now I can connect it up. Okay. So also measure from that point now. The uh, armhole depth is 7 inches. So let's take it that way back. Okay. So this is it. Okay. So this is actually where we have our shoulder line. That is the shoulder slope. This is where we have our shoulder slope. So this side, we're not using it. This is where we are concerned about. Because we want to create the back arm hole. Okay. So this is it now. You can now place it. And uh, before you cover your arm hole, place your boss circumference there. Okay. So we have a little dart, which is about quarter of an inch. And uh, remember, we use two inches seam allowance for the front. I place it. Then you come to the under boss, you do the same thing. Under boss circumference divided by four. You place your dart, you measure what you have here, and you replace it. So, first of all, this is it. From here now, I replace my dart. I add my two inches seam allowance, and that is it. You do the same for the waist. We circumference divided by 4, 8.5. Mark it. Replace my 1 inch dart from there. Add my 2 inches seam allowance. And that is it. Okay, so our back is ready. So don't have that uh, bustier, that cut out. So you can see the shape we have here now. So this is now where we would create our armhole, okay? So, just connect your armhole now. Connect it now. Okay, so it is from here that our sleeve will come in. So, let's be guided. It is from here now that our sleeve will come in, and from the sleeve, the cape will fall into the back. Okay, the cape will come into the back. So, now I'm bringing back my front pattern. So, remember, this is what we need now from here is what we need to place it they will now um, mark the remaining part of the cape the way we want it so uh, this one is coming three inches from the shoulder it's coming three inches from the shoulder so you mark it okay so that is where this one is coming from we need to connect it Three inches from the shoulder so i just hope you'll see what i'm doing this is it so i'll pin it down and then trace it 
So the style is just about you know understanding it, just trying to recreate what you have there. So let me just mark it out. Okay, so now let me connect it. So this is how it's coming. You see why I needed to just join my paper because the sleeve fell into that part. So this is it for the back sleeve. Now our cape should come in whatever way we want it. Okay, so from the back it's going to join to the front. As you can see, that there's no joining at the at the side of the sleeve here. So now I'm going to like trace it, trace this to meet our neckline, and also draw the cape the way we want it. Okay, so this one is going to meets with the neckline like this okay so it's going to meet with the neckline as you can see okay why this one can be as bold as you want it for the back so you can have it like 2.5 inches okay so it's also coming when you have sewn your darts so let's also connect it so you can make it two inches you can make it 2.5 just whichever way it will be beautiful so i'm trying to connect the curve that is okay from here now from here i will just connect okay so it's okay like this at the back so this is our back the back is not that complicated as the front so we're going to still trace out we're going to still trace out our cape and the bodies as well so this is all we're going to do and at this part where you have traced it you can label it this is the side okay so it's actually clear it's not too you can actually see this is the side this is the center and this one is going to the waist so just rebel it that way this is the side so we're going to place it on our bodies to you know and uh, this is our center this is the side so and for the back we're going to cut two of this cape now let's trace it into another paper So one more thing, I forgot to add this um, zipper allowance for the back. Please do that. So let me add the one inch zipper allowance. Okay. So we add the one inch zipper allowance. So this is zipper allowance. Okay. So for the back cape, definitely the cape will stop before the zipper. So this is okay. Okay. The cape is okay. We don't need to add the zipper allowance because it's going to start from after the zipper, after we have fixed our zipper. So that is just okay for the back. So this is what we have. Now I'll go ahead and cut out all our um panels okay so this is our front panel okay so this is just one side and then let's place our cape so this cape now we're going to take it back to the original pattern and mark all the parts that needs 
um, that is all the parts will be joining to the very part we need them okay so like this one now we need to know where the shoulder would start from where the arm i mean the sleeve will start from so but this is just a sample you can see the way it's looking okay so but before we do this now remember that our back panel the back cake is going to come this way so this is how it's going to join from the side like this so we're going to join this very one we're going to join it and this is how we cut it on our fabric okay so actually need a very big fabric for this so this is how it's going to be cut because it's one so we'll join this one here and cut it on our fabric so let's work on our cape most especially this front cape now we'll bring the original pattern because of the darts because of the darts we have, we have to reduce the front cape this very one it has to cut this uh, dart that came here we we'll have to remove it so let's place this back the way it was and we'll mark out the darts So let me just pin it here. So by the time you place it this way, remember we're going to stitch our dart. So it's not going to come. By the time you stitch your dart, you take away the dart now. This is where we have our dart. This is where we have it here and here. So this dart is going off. So these are the adjustments we need to make this that is going off so it means that this one will become like this okay so we have to work on it so we have to take away the darts then we we'll also come here then we we'll place it back like this if we stitch our darts then we we'll place it back this way and here we have that here we have that okay then this that here too is going off and here we have that so by the time we stitch our that we are taking this off so we we'll have to work on this in such a way that we'll be able to merge this one and this one so let's see how that goes so another way to do it is just like using pin to join your bustier when you join it you now place your cape on it and see where you have it so we're also going to take note of our shoulder and um, break points okay like this one now when we are arranging it to make sure that this one this is where it will align at the shoulder here okay so it's very very important to note that so we'll note it where this one is going to join okay and this one as well so we'll place it this one as well this one will be going inside this by the time we sew it aligning okay it's going to go inside so i hope you can see this so this is how we have it okay so this one too this is where we are joining it that is, we are going to make sure it aligns, okay, with the armhole. Then, this is where we have the darts here and here. So, we are going to take the darts off. We are going to take the darts away. And uh, that is it. So, let's, I will cut it to see how it goes. I'll cut it and join it the way we would join our dark so this one let me use my paper tape so i hope what i'm doing here is clear okay so we know that by the time we stitch our bustier the darts we have on the cape would not be needed anymore so i'm just trying to close up the darts okay 
so this one as well so that by the time you close up the dart you'll be able to match it so let me this this side is a bit tricky but we'll be able to do it we'll be able to do it so if we close our dart on the paper here we close our darts on the paper like so how would this one come in and also need to consider that okay so we need to manipulate it for it to come in so for this one we can actually leave it yes we can leave this one the only um, the effect it will have is that it will extend longer which we can trim out is okay so let's work with only this one so you know sometimes it's so you need to really think fast yes so for this one as well we would take it off we would take it off okay so let's leave this side so we'll take it off so I'm not cutting it, I'm just going to, I'm going to use my chipper tape to hold it in case there will be any need for adjustments. Okay, so we have it that way there and we we'll have this one, this one. Okay. So this is just okay now for our cake. So take this aside. Now we're going to work on the back. The back will be cutting two of these because this side would also have its own okay so it's going to be like this for this side while on this side it's going to be like this. so we'll cut two of these now let me just place it on another paper and cut it out so we have it here so this pile requires you have enough fabric unless you want to join the back cape and the front cape by the side otherwise you should have enough fabric to be able to cut out this shape okay so i'm just going to so we'll tape it down and that is how we're going to cut it on our fabric yes that's how we're going to cut it so if you don't have enough fabric just cut it separately and join yes because placing this on the fabric you have to have enough fabric that would take it the way it is okay So this is it. So make sure it's aligning. So this is our cake for the left side. I think that's how we have it there. Why this one? This one is for. Okay, this one is going this way for the other side. I've joined it, okay, the front cape and the back cape. And this all half. So I need to label it that this is the front and that this is the back. Okay. So now one more thing, let's not forget the strap. So you can see that it has trap. Now you get your pattern. You get your pattern. So from the shoulder to the neckline, the measurement you have there is the length of the strap we'll be using. Okay, so it's just like as simple as that. Then by the time we are done, we'll then joining the posterior, that is the center and the side panel will determine where to fix the strap okay so this is the measurement for the strap from the shoulder to this initial neckline we marked so here i think uh, it's from here you measure we took five inches okay so five inches is actually the measurement so five inches now is just for one side that is just the front 
so for the front and the back it means it will be 10 inches plus allowance for joining it okay so take um okay let's say six inches in front six inches at the back so and in all it is 12 inches strap that is the length of a strap will be 12 inches so by the time you stitch it by the time you stitch it in you have the five inches so i'll just cut that and then keep it aside as a reminder so i will not forget the strap okay so i'll just cut that and then keep it aside so i will not forget so the width or goodness of it is a matter of choice you can take um so for from what we are seeing there is just like half inch yes so by the time you fold one inch it's just like half inch so to get that you need well like 1.5 then by the time you stitch it you have your half inch okay so you take two inches then you stitch by half inch so by the time you take two inches and you fold stitch by half inch you have half inch remaining so that will be for the width so let's just mark it down okay so these are strap so this is two inches by the time you then fold it like this and stitch it because you need to fold it then you stitch by half inch after stitching you turn it to the other side and you will be left with half inch okay so i want to assume it's half we have stitched it and here is what we have okay so this one will be coming by the time we join our wrist here this one will be coming here okay we'll have the strap so these are this way it will be somewhere here okay so that is just it so i'll just keep that side now we have our pattern all set the next thing is to transfer them to our fabric 